turning me on. You are so easy to do. Turn it because it's a switch. Awesome friend of mine that I'd like you to meet. It's not this app, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, watch it. <laughs> Paul and I have been working with. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Paul and I have been working our ass off with the ever amazing young Matt Bull, and who isn't nearly as young anymore. Really, he's a junior. Up there. Yeah, he's, he's practically great. Thanks to some really awesome friends of mine, we were able to make this happen, and I, I I couldn't be happier and still be wearing pants. Like this is this is amazing. We have an actual working big kid robot here in the workshop, and this is a thing. This is this is very much a thing. This is an ABB. Model uh, IRB120. Is that right? IRB? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I think that's right. That's right. Okay, this is an IRB120. It's not the 120T. And we're going to make it do cool stuff. What cool stuff we make it do is a lot to do with you. I, I want to hear from you guys. What do we do with this? Now, aside from the obvious, of course, there's going to be a big floppy dick put on the robot. Like, that's only a matter of time. But like we had, it's a mortal here. If it moves, we have to put a giant dildo on it. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't judge me. Catholic school, man. Um, so, we're going to do cool stuff with this. Um, one of the first things I want to do is the Towers of Hanoi, like right here on the bench. It has its own little work area where it can do things. Even though it's facing forward, I'm going to be primarily doing stuff here just for testing. And I'd like to be doing the Towers of Hanoi. I'd like to be doing chess. Um, I want to be able to play a game of chess with you, mm -hmm. with a physical chess board, with you at your office, and me here in a webcam, and I, I walk up, move a piece, and the vision system says this piece moved, tells you, you move, you, you click a thing, mm -hmm. and the robot reaches down and moves what you clicked at home, and it, because chess is a area of the internet, especially online between two people chess, is very well trodden territory. Oh yeah. We can do this. So yeah, that's a thing. But the short the short thing oh my god, positions outside reach. Yes. Several times I was bad. I'm acknowledging it. I've acknowledged it. Suck it. So the big thing though is we have a robot and it works. And it's good. And when you're sitting this way, the positions are backwards, which is kind of weird. But we have a robot. And this is my first robot where it's small scale. Like, Paul and I mastered this by holding it. He clicked the brakes off button and I moved it, and there was no forklift involved. We mounted it to the bench by, like, here, hold it there. All right, we'll drill a halt. And, to, like, it's kind of cool playing a robot that don't weigh 5,000 pounds. I'm, I'm enjoying this. So you're going to see a lot with this, and there's something really cool that's about to happen with this, totally separate from anything that we're going to program and all that. i got to do some homework first, but there's some really cool... Singularity. The singularity! Jesus, fuck! Don't do that. I'm not doing it. I'm getting away from the singularity. Okay. The singularity is a kinematics problem. When the robot's going down right here, now the robot, the robot is trying very hard to hold this in this exact orientation, and if I move like positive Z, this is the Z axis up and down. By the way, this is X, this is Y, this is Z. Okay, so if I move in the positive Z, that stays in the same orientation, like this This thing, it's probably referenced to like right here, is staying exactly on that line, and it's just moving that straight up in Z. So it, and you'll see the arm is working out all the math to keep this where it is, 
it only moves, it isn't like arcing up. It's going straight up, and the arm is moving quite a bit to make that happen. And it'll do that until it runs out of ability to reach any further, which is right about there. So as we go down, something amazing happens with the fourth axis. That's this right here. This is axis four. It does this. Watch the fourth axis as we go down. Right here, this has to whip around really fast if it wants to keep moving down at that speed. And it can't because it's going to... Oh, we got lots of, we got lots of rope here. Let's fucking hang ourselves. So that's got to spin all the way around. Stop, 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 stop. That's, you good? Yeah, no, 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 don't go any farther. We gotta go farther. It's you. We gotta go farther! You wanna rip things apart. I'm gonna shoot! We gotta go farther! Yeah, that, 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 so, that the annoying thing is, the robot's fucking dumb. It's fallen into a hole in math, because it could just make a very slight movement here and keep that going down. But the robot, there's two different ways to solve this mathematical problem. And the robot picks the other one. Picks the wrong one. So this is going to try and spin all the way around, and then it'll do it! It just can't do it and have shit hanging off it. It's, it's going to go tits up. But that's called a singularity. And they usually happen when things start getting kind of in line. Now here's how we fix the singularity. We'll back off. Now that angle right there? Let's go to a different coordinate mode. We'll move this. That will make it happen faster. Or are you going to go no, we're going to go past it. Okay, by bringing this past that line, straight down this axis, now we go to our other coordinate system. And drop some Z. Drop, bitch! Drop! Now we're going to run into a hardware stop. But, we got all the way down until we ran out of thing. Hey, Paul! Hey, Paul! Give me a second. I got an idea. Go to you. Yes, you. Always you. Now we now we drop that Z down. Okay, you know what we can do now? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, baby. You need a volunteer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Paul, mm -hmm. how many minutes into the clip are we? 8.15. Okay, it took me 8 minutes and 15 seconds to be able to get robot porn and sexual innuendo into the first video. That's... Is anyone surprised? Not even a little bit! What's our reach? Oh, God, that's that's way more than we'll need. Let's see if you're... That's... It's so tiny! It's too tiny! Yeah! Even Grandma couldn't take that. That's death. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It makes me nervous getting the back end of that thing close to What's it gonna do? Crash. It's got a five kilogram capacity. Fine. Watch. I explain. Okay? I explain. I explain. I explain. Take control. Five kilogram capacity. Yeah. Okay. You do this with a KUKA, you're about to do pull-ups, right? Right. So, enable the motor drive. Now, face, face robot so that I don't have to think about eight things at once. Okay, when I tell you, push that lever forward, okay? Yeah. Okay, now either the robot's gonna be like, holy Christ, that's heavy, I can't do that, and it's gonna, like, something, it's gonna throw an air, okay? Alright. Or it's gonna break my arms. Or I'm gonna rip it off the table with my brute handling fucking strength. Which, you ready? Okay, yeah. Okay, I have the robot. You have the robot. Alright, go. What did you do? Aeronautic out of position outside reach. Try it again. 
Pull back? Got to acknowledge the air. Now this does not preclude the robot that we're building. In fact, oh my god! Project Archie is still alive and well. And Christ! Ah, I have the limit switches. I have a bag full of them! I have way more than I need. And they're nipple actuated. <laughs> You're turning me on. You are so easily Turn it because it's a switch. <laughs> micro switch for micro nipples. So, episode seven, I think. Are we in seven? I think we're in seven. Sounds right. Yeah, episode seven of Project Archie is going to get filmed like Monday because I'm spending all day tomorrow playing with this shit. Um, I zoom. That's happening, and we have this robot, which can be programmed in Robot Studio. So this is where it gets really cool. You can download Robot Studio, AVB's Robot Studio. Just do a Google search for Robot Studio, all one word. Download it. It's free for 30 days. You can write programs and send them in, and I can run. Pro you can I can run your programs on the robot here, and you can tune in live and fuck it. You can do this. We could never do this with the stuff at the lab. This is amazing. I'm like. Ah, okay, I'm like, I'm, I'm this close to just flaps up. Just, ah, okay, so, yeah. This is going to be cool. Archie's going to be cool. We're doing a whole video series on both. You're going to get to learn how to program these. And we're going to do a lot of really cool stuff with the ABB IRB 120. Not the T, just the 120. We don't have turbo mode. We're not that cool. But we do have zoom. Zoom! It's like, what? <laughs> he just wants a cookie. Do you need a cookie? Okay, Where's your sister? Now you got it. In bed, I think. She might be in bed. So, that's what's up in today's Captain's Blog. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Cooper. And we'll see you next time.